Hello, our friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. Hello there. Welcome back, everybody. Oh, wow. And as we come on here, we look at the phone, and here right now is 555. So this is in total alignment. I think a lot of people are going to feel this, feel this energy that we're going to put forth today and have it be used um, very nicely in your daily life. So we got two messages today and you know every time we get messages we end up with more questions yeah. it's just the way it is yeah. and so the first message that we're going to come through and we'll we'll cover the second message probably on a video tomorrow and we'll also try to get more clarification on it um, this first one's going to be from the group that we know as the mothers and this is really our main group that we talk to on a regular basis and <clears throat> they're very supportive and they're very loving and warm and peaceful and calm and couldn't do anything without them. It, it's just um, so wonderful mm -hmm. to feel their energies. And so this includes Mother Mary and it includes Yeshua and Mary Magdalene, as well as Lakshmi, Isis, Kuan Yin, White Buffalo Calf Woman, Ananda Maima, Sophia, the goddess Sophia as well. These are all goddess energies, basically all divine feminine energies. And then another one that has been with us for a while, but we just couldn't identify who exactly she is. Mm -hmm. um, I gotta say she's been with us at least a year. Yeah, yeah. And she's been wanting to take a more active part with the group. And so we pinned it down to Thalassa, which is a primordial goddess of the sea. Now, as she, she is like so many others, it's not that one culture owns exclusive rights to any of these beings, not even one planet. And that's something for us to really wrap our hands around, our heads around. Mm. Um, and so these beings are known in other circles by other names as well. So this feels right um, vibrationally. And being a primordial goddess, she is before the Olympian gods. And what we have gotten is the Olympian gods, well, they're, they're, more, they're more, you know, your mighty men of old in some ways. Yeah, you know, we're talking more along the like lines of a Nephilim and things along those lines. But every single one, again, is unique. And then there's this tendency in some circles to, you know, say Enki is, for instance, Poseidon. And, you know, that might be the same as Shiva. And, and that's not the case at all. In fact, Cindy just cringed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's just uh, so much information that we, we don't understand in this age. And this is why they call it the Dark Age, the Kali Yuga, you know, because there's just understandings that we can't grasp right now. Yeah, it's all been confused on purpose. And we got some information today from the Galactic Fed from... Laurel, um, just talking about planets and how planets work and operate. And, uh, you know, planets are living beings. Mm -hmm. And this message from Laurel was regarding Tiamat, which is something we've been doing, trying to get more information on. And, uh, you know, what they tell us is, is not necessarily reality. And in m many cases, you might even say most cases, uh, it's wrong. And it's wrong on purpose. It's totally off because they don't want us understanding how the universe really works. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we could go and people could go quote their science books. They could go quote their scriptures. Doesn't prove anything. Mm -hmm. Nothing. And here, you know, what we're going to offer you, if it resonates with you, great. And if it doesn't serve you, well, then it doesn't serve you and, and you're going down a different path. So that's fine. Every single being is a unique individual every single being is a unique spark a unique image of source everyone different and that's the way it's supposed to be not one size fits all mm -hmm. and one of the things that they'll say in this message which is not really that long 
is, again, about the uniqueness. And it's not like there's one right way. There's not one right dogma. Dogma's totally a human thing. Human concept. And it's it has nothing to do with the bigger picture. So, let's give you this first message. This is from the mothers. Whoever feels it's most urgent to come through, we would welcome. Mother energies are very nurturing. They are wishing to bring forth soothing, comforting words to whomever this might be for. They are seeing more people who have a very strong sense of urgency to complete those things they feel they are needing to be prepared for disruption in any given area. Mothers are wishing to reach out to those who are feeling this sense of urgency and help you understand where this is coming from. They are wishing to assist you in understanding your energy and your energy body and how your DNA is connecting to the cosmos. As our light bodies come online, we will have these feelings, these sense of urgency to complete our mission where we are simply stepping into your role. This is information that is being given to you to tell you your mission has begun. It has started. Many have been preparing for many years, some most of your life, but others wished to start their mission after they had created those experience in your earthly life. If you are feeling this sense of urgency, please understand it is simply trying to tell you it is time to start your mission. Follow these instincts and intuitions to the best of your ability. There is no wrong way of doing things. Your energy body is simply speaking to you at this time. It will help you evolve and understand these energies if you simply slow down and quiet your mind. Put into your processes that which will ease you. We urge you to care for yourself nurture yourself do things to the best of your ability some may be feeling this sense of urgency they feel there could be disruptions on the brink that will be happening any time this information is also valid and important and your collective consciousness has created a field of energy for you to step into to create your reality. These informations, these realities that you are creating are about you stepping out of the control system. 
there is no wrong way to do this. We do ask that you reach for our energies, for direction, nurturing, and understanding of your path moving forward. We do wish for you to enjoy and understand what you are here to create. We wish for you to understand your mission. We also wish for you to use your creative energies to create your own surroundings. Your abilities have been kept from you for a very long time. It is time to explore who you are on this planet. There is no wrong way of exploring your surroundings and your path here on this planet. We do encourage you to be kind and gentle in reaching out to others as they too are here for an experience of their very own. Please allow yourselves to be kind and considerate while you are transitioning into the new energies here on earth. The mother energies and nurturing energies are always here to assist you. This we will continue to say and if you are reaching out to us, we will confirm that we hear you, see you, and understand you. You simply need to ask. The information that is being sent to and from your son is also connecting everyone so that if you focus on one particular subject or thing, your angels, guides, who've agreed to assist you will be able to come forth and bring you these streams of information. You need only to try and information will be introduced to you. Thank you. Thank you. Much love and namaste. Namaste. So that was the message today from the mothers. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> right. So I hope those who, you know, feel a pull toward this or feel emotions toward this, this, this is you. This is your call forward and them trying to bring you some kind of understanding. Absolutely. And, you know, again, it, it doesn't matter which one you reach out to. And there's others, too. I mean, the divine feminine, you know, there is a, a saying that all gods are one God, all goddesses are one goddess, because, you know, the greatest secret is all is one anyway. Everything is, is one in this sea of consciousness. It's a matter of what energies you feel comfortable with and who you connect with. And then just simply reach out. And, you know, if you ask for help, you have to ask in order to receive. Yes, and I think this is so beautiful that um, these beings have taken the time to uh, make themselves understood in all kinds of different ways, all kinds of different learning modalities, so that everyone feels comfortable stepping towards someone. Absolutely, absolutely. And Cindy's got the tuning fork, so she's going to give us a tune. And I was doing basically a mental banishing ritual to clear away any negative entities. Something you could do at any single time that you feel it's necessary. If you ever feel like maybe you've been tricked, coerced, um, <clears throat> or perhaps made agreements in the past that you regret in a spiritual manner, you could basically say, I, I revoke all past agreements. I rescind. You know, any promises I made either under coercion, you know, because a lot of times we don't even know 
what we're saying when we're being told to say things. I mean, think about how, you know, we're brought up of a certain mindset. And, you know, like the age when I grew up, it's American, you know, all American, like apple pie, Chevrolet, da 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 da. Serve your country, da da da. You know, in you know, Vietnam was when I was a young, very young kid, and people going off. A lot of people didn't want to go. That was really the first war, I think, where people were waking up in the modern era to the fact that it wasn't all that it was cracked up to be. It wasn't necessarily serving your country. Again, you know, we've been tricked in so many ways into serving the interests of the selfish few, which are not really about peace. They're not really about love. They're not really about fellowship and brothership. You know, if you, we like a lot of period pieces and, you know, the church, the po- the power of the church and, you know, go conquer in the name of Christianity, like Constantine the Great having the vision of seeing, he said he saw the cross. He, he said it was Jesus Yeshua that told him conquer in in the sign of the cross. And so, you know, he developed his one true religion. All others were heresies, condemnable by death, and so on and so on. And we and we see it in in other traditions as well. And you know, that's not the path of peace that these beings come from. Not at all. So, you know, you could always basically just put out that statement out there because there's many times that we've done things. Um, You know, now I lay me down to sleep. And we say that generic Lord, that term could be used for many different beings. Who do you know? Who are you entrusting with your soul? What are you really saying? People don't really know. That's the bottom line. It's just that you've been taught it. You've been taught to, you know, Speak back like you're teaching a parrot or monkey see, monkey do without really analyzing the Pledge of Allegiance as kids again. You know, we're pledging allegiance to the United States of America. Liberty and justice for all. No, that's not the case anymore. You know, if it ever even was, really, it was a beautiful thought. But what what is the reality? This is what we're waking up to. The reality is we've been sold something that's not what it is. And we need to get out of that. So you could just make that statement. Because most people, when we work on them for the first time energetically, will have attachments. It's so common to have attachments, etheric attachments. Just like in this world, we have parasites. You know, we have bacteria, viruses, we have ticks, leeches, things like that. You know, if you go into the woods and you come off and you have ticks on you and they're feeding on you, it's the same thing energetically in the etheric realm. Right. You look at everything here in the 3D and there's uh, the the same energy, but just on a slightly different realm that we can't see with our two eyes. So this is information that takes a while to absorb and understand, you know, as above, so below. There's always um, an energy based on an energy. And it, how close that energy is to you is, I feel, very important too. Like these entities that come and latch onto us, very much like insects. So you were talking about ticks in the forest. You can see that with your two eyes, but etherically, it looks exactly the same way. You know, and... and a lot of times when we do remove these off of people, it just feels like a bunch of bugs just drop off of them. It's so interesting, that feeling like this release. You know, you have this sudden release, and it's really quite incredible. Yeah, and, and so often people feel all of a sudden a lot clearer. Oh, yeah. uh, a lot clearer, like something's been released off of them, because it really has. Again, we only look at the smallest section uh, as far as the visible light that our eyes can perceive, that's not all there is. That's only what we can perceive with these, you know, you know, physical organs. But we can sense other things, and we could develop those senses. And we are developing them. The powers are coming online. These abilities are coming online. The expanded consciousness is coming online. And that's a wonderful thing. Mm-hmm. That's beautiful. So um, clear your mind. Uh Think of something very nice, wonderful, and beautiful, and we're going to do a tune, and we're going to clear out your energies. I 
hope you guys felt that. And even if you don't, it is still happening. It is still clearing your body. Just know and understand that. The other thing we were going to mention, too, um, besides reaching out to any of the you know divine feminines that are out there that are so willing to help, and, and you know that would include also masculine energy like Yeshua because his energy is balanced and he does serve the divine feminine. And he will, again, help anybody that asks for the help. So same with many, many other masters out there, ascended masters and other beings. We were also going to talk about what is a tradition in, in many different cultures of reaching out to your ancestors. And in some ways, that's pretty easy because you're tied to them through your DNA. And DNA is not just physical, as we were talking about uh, the etheric blueprint. DNA is in the etheric blueprint. So DNA is multidimensional as well. Mm -hmm. So our, our ancestors that specialized in whatever they specialized, they did whatever they did, they lived their life, they enjoyed their life, they also have the ability to still help you. Um, when, when we're talking about information, DNA information, that's something we can sit down, we can focus on, and we can call those energies in. Um, it's almost like the energy can hear you. So if you're calling, if you're saying, you know, I, I need my ancestors, whoever wants to step forward and help me with this situation, I could really use some help now. And say that with a sincere heart. Whoever can hear you, you know, on an energetic level, and if they're in your, your blood lineage, it's much stronger. Their energies, everything that they have learned, everything they have experienced can come forth and then help you. Absolutely. So, you know, this is something that the powers that be understand. And this is also why they like to incarnate in certain bloodlines to basically keep that knowledge going, keep it fresh, to be able to pull on their own past incarnations and also their DNA lineage. So, you know, just to give you a, for instance, you know, I have two grandfathers that are very different from each other. One was a farmer. And then the other one was a diesel mechanic that helped build the Nautilus and worked on submarines. Very, very different skills, but again, you can call on those energies. You can actually ask for help, like say if you know, you're doing what we're doing right now, and um, you know if we had somebody that was a carpenter in the family, but you know, I might call on my grandfather that was a mechanic because he's very mechanical, and say, just guide me in, in doing you know the porch. We're turning a deck into a screen porch. So you call on those energies and ask for the guidance and then just again, listen to the little voice within because if it talks to you before you've ever been able to form any clear thoughts, that's probably a guide coming through. Yes, very, very important too. When you, uh, when you ask for this help to pay attention to those little thoughts that are telling you, well, <clears throat> Why don't you try this? Or why don't you try that? Or, you know, this is a new idea. Or why don't you go look up this bit of information and see what comes forth? This is your ancestors. These are your guides. These are your energies coming forth to help you. And again, one person, you know, comes into this life to, you know, be the one having the experience. There's many more on the other side in support. And we've been purposefully cut off from them or given the thoughts that they're not real oh it must all be demons now you know this is the controllers that put those thoughts out there again it's the controllers philosophy that keeps us separate from anything but them they want to be the only ones giving you uh, advice right um that's that's really important to understand that not everything that we are looking at in the 3d there's so much more than that. You know, there's there's energies that work through other people as well. So we have to look at our surroundings, see what's going on, have a have a higher or deeper understanding of the situation and know there's other entities involved with all kinds of things. But if you keep calling in the highest the highest um, energies for the the highest outcome possible or the best outcome possible then that's what you're going to receive so you just want to try to stay on that higher realm yeah for the greatest good yes. and you know with harm to none there you go 
So we hope you guys found that interesting. Look forward to your comments as always. Thanks for your support on Patreon. We couldn't do it without you guys. Also on Ko-Fi where you could do a one-time donation for the channel. Or monthly support just like over on Patreon. Use coupon code EEA. Get a discount over at Medicinal Foods. And it does support the channel. Lots of good stuff there for detoxing, building the immune system. If you need to set up an appointment, it's evolutionaryenergyarts at gmail. Dot com And we're usually about two weeks out as far as appointments go for energy work, maybe a little bit more if it's a Vedic chart, a astro astrological chart. But we do look forward to helping you guys. As always, much love. God bless and namaste. Namaste.